Next up, we'll focus on our trays down at the bottom left of the UI. These are also known as our tool trays. And in these trays, we have a sculpt tools, a paint tool, and a select and move tool. In each one of these tabs, we have access to tools that allow us to work with either the geometry or the painting, the material and the texture of the object, and also moving and selecting faces on the object. We'll start by looking at the sculpt tools. The sculpt tools provide us a number of different ways of working with the geometry, for pushing and pulling the geometry and creating the type of detail that we need from it. We also have three additional tools at the end that allow us to work with freezing sections of the model so that we can keep them from being worked on. Um, we can also use our masking tools to mask out different sections of layers. And we'll see that a little bit later as we get into the layers for Mudbox. The first tool that we have is a sculpt tool. 